Now, we all know that people who love their cars and want to hang on to them, but not many, perhaps, would go to the lengths of mini-fanatic Trevor Hatton. He's ensured that he's always surrounded by mementos of the famous little machine by building his home furnishings from their spare parts. He joins us now from a sofa made from the front end of his favourite motor. Trevor, good evening to you. Ta -da. I should ask Hi, you, are you, are, are right? you sitting comfortably? Yeah, I'm very comfortable, thanks very much. I have to say that uh, memories uh, coming back that the Mini that I had wasn't the most uh, comfortable of machines, but obviously it, it's serving rather better as, as a, a sofa in the living room. Oh yeah, it's certainly a lot better as a sofa than it is to drive, I must admit. You don't get, don't get that same sort of back right lower <laughs> down. Yeah. And that bumpy suspension as well. Yeah, that's right, yeah. What gave you the idea of absolutely sort of chopping up these things and converting them into this uh, rather sort of pop art furniture? Well, I got the idea from seeing it in a magazine uh, a few years ago. Uh, people have done various bits and pieces of furniture. And um, I thought I'd have a go myself, but uh, give them an actual purpose instead of just being a, an ornament as such. And uh, I gather that it's, it's even lighting your light up, uh, your life up rather, with... Uh Battery operated heli um, headlights on the, the sofa there. Do, do, uh, are you asking me if the lights work? Ah, uh, yes. We'll have a demo. Uh, it's called yeah. a cube. Oh, there we are. Well done. Yeah, hey, there they go. Yes, yeah, so your electricity bill must be rather high. And I gather no problems with drinking or driving at home either because uh, you've got all that you want there uh, in yeah, situ. Absolutely right. Oh, well, you can't have an armchair without a bar, can you? Indeed. So? Let's have a look at your handiwork then. A bit of bar. Oh, this very, the, very uh, tasteful. This is the mini bar. Um, it's made at the back end of a Mini, rather than the, rather than the front to give it a, a bit of a different feel. The boot opens up here, all your lights, bottles and spirits and everything are all very impressive. for you to see. Yeah. Someone's nice obviously been softener. busy with the welding torch and the, uh, the angle grinder with all this. Oh yeah, <laughs> very bit of technical terms there, angle grinder, Indeed. I like it. How, how long has it taken you to get all this together? Um, about six months now to build the three because we've got a television cabinet around here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you Sky News as you've now. never seen it before, presumably. Let's see what's under no, the bonnet. And there is the television. <laughs> Excellent. Now, I must ask you, what do you actually drive? I don't drive a Mini You don't anymore. drive a Mini. Yeah, that, that's the answer we wanted. You've had enough of them at home, have you? I've had, I've had 10 now, I've had 10 minis, yeah, uh, I just got rid of the last one about six months ago. I decided, I didn't actually chop it up and turn it into an armchair or a bed or anything. So very quickly, what, what's the next project? Uh, the next project, well, it, it, it could be uh, a bed out of a Ferrari or something like that. Something rather more comfortable. Well, uh, very That's impressive, right. Trevor, we're, we're very impressed with all the handiwork there. Thanks very much indeed for joining much. us. Cheers. There That's we are. great. British eccentrics. Completely. The metallic paint was very uh, impressive. Yes, it's done a nice, nice job indeed. in it. Very you nice could too, come yes. and spray mine. Now,